what's poppin', what's poppin', let's get it, let's get it, let's go, man, let's go. Hopefully y'all had a good day, man, hopefully y'all had a good Saturday, and to my guys, like I say, I know on weekends it's the hardest to do semen retention, but you gotta stay locked in, you gotta do things that you love, you gotta try out new things, you gotta unlock new versions of yourself, you know, like I say, for me, the goal is a year, you know, your, your goal could be different, your goal could be two months, three months, and on some real stuff, I'm about to start counting the months. You know, I started on October 14th. I'm about to just start counting the months. That's it for me. I'm not about to just uh, keep counting days because I feel like now I understand people talk about like now it's becoming a lifestyle. Like it's what is expected, you know, and I have expectations for myself, you know, a year. But today we'll get into it, man. Um, advice to men that's entering their 30s, you know? And I know for a lot of men, you know, you think you're old when you get to 30, it's the complete opposite. You still, you still young, you still a baby. You still a baby, bro. Your prime is like 36, 37, you know? That's when you hit your prime. But 30, bro, you still learning, you know? But it's very important, it's the first thing. Um, I got my notes right here. Cause this is very important, bro. Now it's time to get serious with life. You know, your twenties, that was for learning. That was for trying new things and seeing what fits for you. Uh, getting a degree, um, learning different skills. That's what it is self-taught or if you have to go get a uh, certification, anything. So you learn different things. You travel different places. You built up some kind of self-confidence a little bit for yourself. So your 20s is for that. 30s, that's when it's time to get real. That's when it's time to get serious. You know, that's when it's time to get serious. So that's very important. That's the first one. Uh, the second one is use, use the things you've learned in your 20s. So when you enter your 30s, bro, everything you learned in your 20s, you use that to make money. Use your degrees. Use all the skills you learn. Whether soft, uh, whether it was self-taught or you learned it through um, a college or you know certification, anything. Um, you travel. Use every skill you learn in your twenties. That's why it's important in your twenties to do different things, try different things. Don't get stuck in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. You know, try new things. You know, because you want to use all those things in your thirties to bring you money. You know, to bring you money. And then by you already living life and you did things, you're not going to be so pressed to still live like you're young. You're going to accept your role in your 30s, you know? Like, that's how some dudes in their 30s, like, they don't have to go out a lot because they went out when they was in their 20s. They did a lot of that stuff. So now they can really focus on what's important, you know? And I'm glad I did a lot of partying in my 20s because now I don't feel like I'm missing out if I don't go to a party. You know, and I'm in New Orleans. I'm right. <laughs> I'm right where everything is, man. Like uh, this weekend, it's the Bayou Classic, you know, and you can hear the instruments when you open the window. You can hear all that. But I'm not missing out. I'm creating content, helping the next generation, bro. To me, that's priceless. That's better than having sex. That's better than watching porn. That's better than taking girls to a date to watch, you know. That's better. You know, I'm I'm gonna uh, live that life one day. You know, I'm gonna be out there still listening to the um, to the music, listening to the instruments, doing you know doing stuff. But right now in my life, I have to help men. You know, that's very important. And the third thing, you know, when you enter your thirties, bro, this is very important. Very important. Don't be so quick to rush into a relationship, bro. You know, because some of you probably live with your parents your whole 20s, or you probably had roommates. You probably learn how to live by yourself. Learn how to live by yourself. Learn how it, fe learn how it feels to wake up and cook breakfast for yourself. Learn how it feels to do your own laundry. Learn how it feels to clean your own house. You know, learn how it feels to come home by yourself. Learn how it feels to wake up by yourself. That's very important, bro, because it's it's going to make you a better man once you do get in a relationship. You're not going to be so needy. It's a lot of dudes. Bro, I'm telling you, in my 20s, I used to be that needy nigga. <laughs> uh, 
a needy nigga, bro. I used to be that dude, bro, because I didn't spend that time alone when I was supposed to, you know? I didn't live by myself the right way when I did, you know? So don't be in a rush to, to be in a relationship, bro. Like, really, really experience how it feels to cook your own breakfast, cook your own dinner, like, chill by yourself, study by yourself, do things by yourself, bro. That's very important. A lot of men skip that stage, you know, but it's cool because some men are meant for like the marriage life, like or like some dudes are just meant for that, you know, but it's very important that you don't skip this stage because this stage is going to make you that man. So when you do get in a relationship, you'll be able to handle a woman <laughs> when they go through their moves, when she ignoring you, when she don't want to talk because she's mad. You're not going to be upset. Like, you're going to be used to it because you already spent time by yourself. You know, that's very important, bro. A lot of dudes skip that stage in life and they rush because they want they want their family to see they can get a girl. They want to fit in. No. Take some time by yourself. Take some time waking up alone. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. You're not going to regret it. Um, and it's crazy I'm talking like this, bro, because sometimes I be hearing myself talk. I'm like, bro. Damn, like, you really know some stuff. <laughs> uh, the fourth thing, bro, I think what's important is practice semen retention, bro. And it don't have to be like a year like I'm doing, two, three years, four years. Bro, you can do it on and off. You can do it for three months, six months. That's up to you. That's up to you. Don't let people dictate on how you do things, you know. If you don't want to do it, cool. You know, th that, that don't make you no less than any other man. You just still handle your business. You know, you still handle your business. But for me, I have to do a year because if I don't, I can't make videos like this because I'd be out chasing. Even though it's raining outside, I'd still be out chasing if I was still living that lifestyle. You know, so I think once you're into your 30s, bro, you know, because your 20s, you already had sex. You know, already did a lot of things. You know, already had girlfriends and stuff like that. So now it should be kind of easy for you to do uh, practice semen retention. It should be kind of easy for you, you know. And I don't really know about no fap like that, but if it helps you, hey, go for it, bro. The main goal is to keep evolving. That's the main goal, you know. That was the fourth thing. And the fifth thing, you know, it's something simple, which I didn't do and I wish I would have done. It's... I still have time to do it, though. Get you an animal, bro. Get you a dog. You like cats, get you a cat. You like birds, get you a bird. Like, get you get you something that's close to you so you don't always feel like you super alone, you know? I was always, after, like, you know, um, the failed uh, marriage that I was going to be in, I was always alone after that. You know, I had temporary girls and stuff like that, but for the most part, I was always alone. But I wish I had thought about getting a dog or something, getting a cat, you know, anything. Anything that makes you happy. And that's the main thing I want to tell y'all, bro. This life is too short to care about what other people think. If you a dude that likes cats, dog, go get you a cat. <laughs> go get you a cat, bro. Don't worry about what people think about you, man. Because if you do that, you gonna live a horrible life. You gonna live a horrible life, dog. You know. And the next thing, this one's very important too. As you into your thirties, bro, start focusing on your credit and your money. You know. See, I was the type. I never cared about money in my twenties. I ain't care about no money, bro. If I get a check, okay, like I got some money now. Let me go blow this. I get another check next Friday. That's how I was living. You know, on one hand, I regret it, but on the other hand, I don't because I was like living life and now I can focus on what's important. You know, I can focus on what's important, but get your credit right, bro. Like, I know, and that's another thing, with my credit, bro, I ain't give a fuck. <laughs> bro, I ain't give a fuck about no credit, dog. Like, I'm telling you, in my 20s, bro, my credit, my credit was horrible. But it was last year. That's why I say, you know what? I'm going to get my credit right. I'm going to get my credit right. Even if you're 30s, because sometimes, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. Sometimes you get your credit right, and then it go right back down because you'll do some dumb shit or whatever. Hey, now you know how to get it back right. Now you know the strategy, how to get it back right. You know? And another thing with your credit, be careful 
if you don't do it yourself, be careful on who do it for you because you got people that scam you. You got people that take your money out of your account because they think you're not checking it. Always check your account. Always check your bank account every morning when you wake up, check your bank account because you never know. You trust nobody with your money. Trust nobody handling your money. Trust nobody who got information to your card information. Trust nobody. You feel me? But get that credit right. That's for you. So when you got a family or like when you get older and you still by yourself, whatever, you don't have to worry about nothing. When your credit right. And I know all that shit is scam, but it's life. <laughs> it's life. Uh, the next thing, man, and this is very important too. And this is what I'm just understanding. See, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling y'all some real shit, bro. This is what I'm just understanding. Like, start your own business or start your platform that you have, you know, a lot of control over. Because that's important because you're going to notice as you get older, it's really not about how much money you can make from working for somebody else. It's going to be really about your time. It's going to be really about your time. So let's say you start having kids. You don't want to be having kids and you missing out on things in their life. You don't want to miss out on a graduation because you got to work. You don't want to have to ask another man, can I take off? You don't want to do that. You know, you want to, I'm telling you, you want to be thinking ahead. Okay, what business can I start? What do I like doing that, that I, I can keep the passion and make money off of? You know, and it's going to take time. The first year, you might not be able to quit your job. The second year, you might not be able to quit your job. But the third year, you might, you know, you might can. But the earlier, the better. Because you don't want to have kids, bro, and you can't spend time with them because you're working for a company. You know, and if you got kids right now and you're doing that, you got to work and miss. It's cool. Now you know. You know, your time is the most important thing. Figure something out where it's something you love and you can be a service to people and you can get your time back. That's very important. That's very important, you know? And the last thing, to me, this is most, this is the most important one. This is the most important one. Hold on, hold on. This last one is, is very important. You have to become mentally tough. You have to become mentally tough because life go throw things at you. You know, it's not go, life is not smooth sailing. It's not a straight shot. It's none of that. You know, that's why they say you got to mix the good with the bad. And you got to just enjoy both of them. You got to accept both of them because it's all a part of life. Just like dying and, and the baby being born. It's all a part of life. You have to become mentally tough. You have to. It's very important because with all those things that I told you, you have to be mentally tough to keep going. Because things gonna happen. Your your mom gonna die. Your dad gonna die. Your brother gonna die. You know, somebody gonna die that you love. Somebody gonna hit your car and total your car. Um, something gonna a, a, a natural disaster gonna come. Your girl gonna break up with you. Stuff gonna happen in your life, bro. Your kids gonna say they hate you. <laughs> what you gonna do, bro? You gonna give up? You feel me? You gonna give up on life? You gonna give up on everything that you had planned? No, you gotta become mentally tough. You know, so build your mental, bro. You know, build your mental. You know, I, I hope this helped y'all out, bro. Um, I wish I would have listened to a lot of this stuff when I was into my twenties, but you know, it came slowly, and everybody don't get it right at the at the perfect time. You know, I'll be thirty three next year. And stuff is slowly coming together. My life is not perfect. You know, it'll never probably be perfect. But I know I'm aiming for success. I hope y'all aim for the same thing. Y'all have a good day.